My name is Brittany Braddon. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. So today's practice is going to be a power flow. I highly recommend you have two blocks for this practice. If you don't have two blocks, don't worry about it. You can still do this class. Um, make sure you have your water, towel, mat, and you're good to go. All right, so we are going to start off placing those two blocks on the lowest height and coming into child's pose. So you can either take your knees nice and wide or you can bring your knees closer together, but you're gonna rest your hands on the blocks and just bring your forehead down to the ground. So I want you to close down the eyes and just bring awareness to your breath. And as your tongue just rests on the roof of the mouth, Feeling your breath going in and out of the nose. Taking that breath right into the rib cage and into, into the back of the body. And as you exhale, see if you can just soften a little bit more into the shape. So you're going to leave your left hand where it is, and you're going to come in to thread the needle with your right arm. So you're going to take your right arm underneath, draw the right shoulder back, press the back of that right hand into the ground, and fold in towards the floor. Keep pressing that left hand into the block. And then take your right hand onto the block and left arm underneath, square the chest off to the ground, and then fold. And then left hand comes onto the block. Come forwards in the table. So bring your shoulders over top of the wrist, knees hip distance apart. Now you're gonna take an inhale, lift the chest to the gate of the shoulders and the table up. Then as you exhale, push away from the blocks and round through the spine. Inhale, lift the chest forwards and the table up. And then exhale, round. A few more cat cows. One more time. And then come into your neutral spine. And then from here, I just want you to take your shoulders way past your fingers and then take your shoulders back. And then shoulders way past the fingers and then take them back. So a few more. All right, now take your shoulders back and you're gonna bring your hands off the block slightly. So your thumbs will come off, but your other four fingers are pressing on the blocks and then the palm of the hand is off of the block. So you're gonna drop the heel of the hand down towards the ground, keep your shoulders forwards, and now lift the heel of the hand up. And then drop the heel of the hand down and then lift the heel of the hand up. So you do a couple more. If it is way too intense to have the shoulders forwards, then just take your shoulders back a little bit but maybe you can take your shoulders further forwards. Strengthening through the wrist. One more. And then come off the blocks, give your hands a good shake. So now you're gonna reach for those blocks again, but place your blocks on the middle height. Bring your elbows onto the blocks. So you're gonna lower the chest down towards the floor, bring the hands together in prayer, and either send the fingers up towards the ceiling or Keeping the hands in prayer, just place the hands in between the shoulder blades. Either way, I want you to envision like you're trying to touch the armpits down to the ground. Good, and then come off the blocks. Place your blocks on the lowest height. 
Tuck your toes under and come into downward dog. So as you lift the hips up and back, I want you to just play around with the shape. So that might mean walking the legs out. You can walk your feet out wider. You can bring your feet closer together. Just keep sending the hips back. Think long spine. Cool. Now bring your big toes to touch. Your right leg is going to go up towards the ceiling. Bend that top knee and rotate your hips towards the right. So draw your ribs in. Keep sending that right knee up. We do some big circles with that right leg. So bring the knee into center. Take the knee wide to the side and then up towards the ceiling. Again, bring the knee into center. To the side and up. One more time in that rotation. And then you're going to go the opposite way. So take the knee to the side, down, and then up. Again, to the side, down, and up. One more time. Three-legged dog. So send that right leg up, toes face the ground. You're going to lift up high on the ball of that left foot, bend the knee, and bring your chest towards that left thigh. Cross the knee underneath you. Take that right knee to the left arm. So bring your shoulders right over top of the wrist. And then take your leg out to the left side for falling triangle. So you're going to drop your back heel down to the floor. Use your glutes to lift the hips up towards the ceiling, and then reach your left arm up. Set that left hand back to the block, turn on the ball of that left foot, and take your right leg up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Now take your right knee to the right arm, shoulders come forwards over top of the wrist, and then step your right foot down to the outside of that right block. Wiggle the left toes back a bit. So keeping power in that left leg, you're just going to come forwards and backwards into the hip. All right, so from here, you're going to start to spread the shoulder blades apart. So create a little bit of a dome in the upper back. Get your right knee high up on the arm. So leave your knee on the arm, but bring that right heel in towards your glute. Shoulders stay forwards. Take another breath here. And then three-legged dog, right leg goes up towards the ceiling. Now you're going to come forwards. Bring your knee into your nose. Step down in between the blocks. Place your blocks on the highest height, framing that right foot. And set your left knee down to the floor. Lift the chest up. Keep pressing that right foot down to the ground, and then shift your hips back for half split, flex the right foot. Again, bend into the front leg, chest lifts up, and then half split, hips go back. And then one more time, bend into the front leg, half split, and then come into that lunge again, tuck your back toes under and pick up your back knee. So now I want you to take your blocks towards the front of the mat, fingertips on the blocks, Bring that left heel right above the toes, hug the right hip back. And I'm going to push off your back foot and come into a warrior three. So left toes face the ground. I want you to envision like you have a third block just above the sacrum, so don't drop it. Lift up through your core to support the spine and bottom knee is still bent. So make sure you're not dropping to the chest. And then from here, the only thing you're going to change is straighten that right leg. Bend that right knee, feel like you're pushing that left foot back. And then straighten the right leg. One more time, bend the right knee, and then straighten the leg. Now bring that left knee in towards your chest. The left hand comes below the knee. You're going to come up to stand, bring that left leg with it. Right arm up towards the ceiling. Take a moment to find some balance here. And then you're going to place your left foot on top of the right thigh. Bend your standing leg, and you're going to send the hips down and back. So really press down to that right heel, and bring the fingertips back onto the blocks. So as the fingertips came to the block, make sure you're not picking the hips back up. So keep the hips low, keep pressing down to that right heel. Now your right hand is going to come to your left knee. Come up to stand and bring your left leg in towards the chest and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. So lift up tall as you inhale, and now as you exhale, rotate the chest to the left, reach your left arm back, and then follow that thumb. Leave that left leg where it is. Reach your right arm forwards. Pull the hands away from one another. And then chest is going to stay facing where it is. Just take a big step back with that left leg and land in warrior two. So a bend in that front leg. Press that right knee open. Press down through the outer edge of that left foot. And then reverse your warrior. Reach your right arm up and over. And then coming back into warrior two. Take your right forearm to the right thigh, reach your left arm towards the front of the mat, bicep hovers above the ear, spin that left pinky finger down, and then feel like you're zipping the heels in towards one another, contain your ribs. Good. 
and then come back up through center. You're gonna turn to face the left side, so your heels are gonna come in, feet turn out, bend the knees, drop the hips, and press the knees open. So you can take the hands or the elbows to the inside of the thighs, and just rock side to side. Now keeping the hips low, take your arms to the inside of the legs, hands are gonna grab hold of your ankles. So press those knees open, let the head drop and pause here for a few breaths. And then set the hands down, hips up, feet come parallel, wide-legged forward fold. So you can rock a little side to side here. And then lengthen the spine. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. So now I want you to ground hold of your blocks, place them on the lowest height frame in your right foot, you're on the ball of your left foot. So as you press your hands into the blocks, find that protraction through the shoulder blades, so spread the shoulder blades apart. Bring that right thigh in towards your chest, and I want you to try to hover your foot exactly where it is and hold there for three, for two, and one. Step back, downward dog. Whew. <laughs> Bring your big toes to touch. So now take your left leg up towards the ceiling, bend that top knee and rotate your hips to the left without twisting everything to the left. Do those big hip circles, so bring that left knee to center, take the knee wide to the side and then up towards the ceiling. Again for two, big circle. And then one more round. And then you're gonna go the opposite way, so take the knee to the side, down and up. Again for your second circle. And then one more time. And then three like a dog. So point the left toes down, lift up high in the ball of that right foot. Bend your knee and bring your chest towards that right thigh. And then take it underneath you. So left knee to the right arm, shoulders come over top of the wrist. Get the knee high first. Then take the leg out to the right. Drop the back heel to the center of the mat. Falling triangle, lift the hips up as you reach your right arm up. Set your right hand back to the block, turn on the ball of your back foot, three-legged dog, left leg to the ceiling. Take your left knee to the left arm, shoulders come forward, get the knee high first. Then you're stepping to the outside of the left block, wiggle the right toes back and just come forwards and backwards into the hip. Feel like you're pressing the back of the right knee to the ceiling. Okay, so find that protraction, get that left knee high up on the arm. So leave the knee as you bring that left heel in and hold. Three-legged dog, left leg up. Now come forwards, bring your knee to your nose. Step down in between the blocks, back knee comes to the floor, adjust your blocks to the highest height. So bring your fingertips to the blocks, lift the chest up, low lunge. Half split, hips go back, flex the left foot. And then bend into the front leg, low lunge, lift the chest. And then half split, hips go back. One more time, bend in the front leg. Half split, hip shift back. And now as you come into the lunge, tuck your back toes under, pick up that back knee. Bring your blocks towards the front of the mat and then fingertips lightly on the blocks. So find that engagement through the inner thighs, long spine and then push off that back foot and lift the right leg up for warrior three. Bottom knee is still bent, support the spine with the core and then straighten that left leg. Bend the left knee, keep the right toes facing the floor, and then straighten the left leg. One more time, bend the knee, straighten the leg, bring that right knee in towards your chest, so right hand comes below the knee as you pick it up, come all the way up to stand and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Find your balance on that standing leg first, and then we're going to come into figure four, so right foot on top of that left thigh, bend the standing leg, press down through that, low, uh, that left heel as you lower the hips down and back. And you're going to bring your fingertips back to the blocks. Now your left hand comes to the right knee. You're going to come up to stand, bring that right knee in towards your chest. Right arm's going to reach up towards the ceiling, so lift up first. Then rotate the chest to the right, reach that right arm back, follow the hand. Leaving the right leg where it is, reach out left arm forwards and hold there. And then with control, take a big step back with that right leg and land in warrior two. Reverse your warrior, reach that left arm up and over. And then coming back into warrior two. 
Left forearm to the left thigh, reach that right arm towards the front of the mat. Spin that right pinky finger down, draw the ribs in, pull the heels in towards one another. Come up into warrior two. Turn to the right, so heels in, turn the feet out. Bend the knees, lower the hips, hands or elbows to the inside of the thighs, just rock side to side. So keeping those hips low, take your arms to the inside of the legs, grab hold of the ankles. Breathing into the hips, you can let that head fall. And then hips go up, feet parallel, hands to the ground, wide-legged forward fold. Let's close the eyes. And then come onto your fingertips, lengthen the spine. Walk your hands now to the front of the mat, grab your two blocks, place them on the lowest height, framing that left foot. You're on the ball of your back foot. So as you press the hands into the blocks, find that dome in the upper back, get that left leg as close to the chest as you hover your foot exactly where it is, and then step back, downward dog. You're gonna lift your heels up, bend the knees, and just walk forwards. Take those blocks off to the side. Bring your fingertips to the shins, lift up halfway, lengthen, and then fold down into the legs. Coming up to stand, reach both arms up, and then hands come together, heart prayer. Both arms reach up, hinge from the hips as you fold forwards. Fingertips to the shins, halfway lift. Set the hands down, you're gonna step back into plank. So I want you to take your time, you're gonna lower down for five, four, three, two, and then come onto your stomachs. Press the tops of the feet on the floor, walk your hands back a little bit, and hug your elbows in towards the midline. So you're gonna lift your chest forwards and up as you press the feet in the ground, engage with the glutes. Feel like you're pulling your hands to your feet, and then lower down. Tuck your toes under. So it's up to you, whether the knees are up or on the floor, you're gonna press yourself through table or plank, and then come into downward dog. Your right leg is gonna lift up towards the ceiling, keeping the toes facing the floor. Come forwards knee to nose like you did on the blocks, and then step your right foot down in between the hands. High lunge, as you come up to stand, reach both arms up, and then bring the hands down to the floor, and step back into plank. Lower yourself all the way down onto the ground, Tops of feet press on the mat. Baby cobra, chest comes forwards and up. Pull the hands to the feet without pushing your chin forwards. And then lower down. Tucking your toes under. Press yourself up through table or plank. And then come into downward dog. Left leg lifts to the ceiling. Come forwards knee to nose. Step down in between the hands. High lunge, both arms sweep up. Hands come down to the mat. Stepping back into plank, lower down all the way to the floor. Tops of feet press on the mat, baby cobra, lift the chest forwards and up. So you can either stay here in this baby cobra or as you press the tops of feet on the ground, hover the thighs and come into your upward dog. And we will all meet in downward dog however you would like to get there. Take a few breaths in down dog, root down through the hands, think long spine. And then you're gonna look forwards, heels up, bend the knees, hop or step, just make your way to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift to lengthen, and then fold into your legs. Coming to stand, both arms sweep up, hands come together, heart prayer. Both arms reach up, fold forwards into the legs. Take that halfway lift, hands to the floor, step back in a plank. Chaturanga, your back bend of choice, baby cobra or up dog, meeting and downward dog. Take your right leg to the ceiling, stepping forwards in between the hands and then come up to that high lunge, both arms reach up. Hands come to the floor, step back into plank, chaturanga, your back bend, meeting and downward dog. And then left leg lift, step forwards in between the hands, high lunge, both arms reach up. Hands come down to the ground, step back in a plank, 
your vinyasa, so your connecting postures. Leading in downward dog, take a few breaths here. Are you getting warm? I am. <laughs> oh, we have one more round, ready? Heels lift, bend the knees, make your way to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift, fold into the legs. I'm coming to stand, both arms reach up. Hands together, heart prayer. All right, arms up. Fold into the legs. Halfway lift. Downward dog or your flow. Lifting the right leg to the ceiling. Stepping forwards with control. Coming up into that high lunge. Hands to the ground. Downward dog or your flow. Last side, left leg goes up. Step forwards in between the hands. High lunge. Hands to the ground. Downward dog or vinyasa. Whew. Come down onto your knees. Turn your fingers to face the sides of the mat and then walk them all the way around so fingers face your knees, thumbs face out. Lift the chest forwards and the tailbone up, and then round. So you're gonna move through a couple more cat calves with your hands in this variation. And then coming off the hands, give the hands a good shake. Swing your legs to either side, and then come down onto your backs. So just bring your knees in towards your chest. And just rock side to side. Now place your left foot down to the ground, right foot on top of that left thigh. So take the right knee out to the right side and firmly press your left foot on the ground, hands on the floor, framing your hips. So lift your hips up just a little bit. Now from here, I want you to curl under with the pelvis so that you're firing up the glute and the left hamstring. Now feel like you're dragging the heel to the glute. Don't lose that. Keep the glutes working as you lift the hips up towards the ceiling, pressing the right knee open, draw the ribs in, and then lower the hips down to a hover. Lift the hips up, and then lower the hips down to a hover. One more time, lift the hips up. Lower down to the floor. Now keep your legs in the shape. Bring that left knee in towards you and interlace the hands behind the back of the head. So the elbows are wide, then lift your head and your chest up. So both shoulder blades come off the floor. Curl up with the pelvis and bring that left knee in towards you, keeping the chest lifted. Now take your left leg forward. So it might be a 45 degree angle, it might be lower. Some of you might hover that heel, but keep both shoulder blades off the ground. And then bend that left knee and bring your left leg in. Curl up with the chest, curl up with the pelvis. Two more like that. Take that left leg forwards, keeping the chest lifted. And then bend the knee, bring the thigh in towards your chest. Curl up. One more time, left leg forward. And then bend the knee, curl in towards yourself. And then let it go. Bring both feet down onto the mat. Left foot on top of that right thigh. Hands down on the ground, framing the hips. Lift the hips up slightly, curl under with the pelvis. Keep that engagement through the glutes. Lift the hips up. Draw the ribs in and then lower down to a hover. Lift the hips back up towards the ceiling, and then lower to a hover. One more time, lift up, and then lower down. Keep the legs in the shape, bring that right knee in towards you. Interlace the hands behind the back of the head, elbows wide. So lift the head, lift the chest up, curl up with the pelvis, and then take that right leg forward to that angle that works for you, trying to keep the chest lifted and then bend the knee and curl in towards yourself. Again, take that right leg forwards, and then bend the knee, curl up with the pelvis, curl up with the chest. Last time, right leg forwards, and then bend the knee, curl up, and then let it go. Let's just take a pause, bring your feet together on the mat, let the knees fall open, 
And just take your arms up to the side into a T shape. Just find your inhales and your exhales. your knees in the center and then let your knees just rock side to side. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock and roll up and down the back. And then we're gonna make our way into downward dog. So if you enjoy doing that flow with the blocks, then grab the blocks. Otherwise, I'm gonna cue hands on the floor now. So we're gonna meet in our downward dog. Bring your big toes to touch. And take that right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend that top knee, rotate your hips towards the right. Draw the ribs in and keep sending that right knee up. Square off the hips, three-legged like dog, so straighten that right leg. Cross it underneath, right knee to the left arm, shoulders come forward. Take the knee out to the left side, drop your back heel down. Lift the hips up for falling triangle. You have the option to lift that right leg off the floor and hold it there. And then set your left hand down, three-legged dog, right leg to the ceiling. Bring your right knee to the right arm, shoulders forward. And then step down to the outside of that right hand. Come forwards and backwards into the hip. Okay, so get that right knee high up on the arm. Lead the knee and bring your heel in. Now you can hold here, you can hold a push up with the elbows bent, or you're gonna lean forwards and maybe you have that arm balance, you're gonna float that left leg up towards the ceiling. And then we'll meet in the three-legged dog, right leg up. You're gonna come forwards, bring your knee into your nose. Step your right foot down in between the hands, the left knee lowers to the floor. Low lunge, you're gonna reach both arms up towards the ceiling, bring the hands together and lift the gaze up towards the hands. And then bring the hands down to the floor, half split, hips go back, flex that right foot. So pulling those right toes back to the face. And then as you bend to the front leg, pick up your back knee. Runner's lunge, so I want you to feel like you're pulling your feet in towards one another. Reach your arms back. Make sure you're not rounding through the shoulders. And then hover your chest above that right thigh now. Lean forwards a little bit more and float that left leg up, warrior three. So left toes face the ground. With control, you're gonna come up to stand, left hand below that left knee and reach that right arm up towards the ceiling. Place that left foot on top of the right thigh, come into figure four. So you're gonna bend that standing leg, lower the hips down and back. So I'm gonna give you a little play time here so you can stay where you are. You can bring your hands to the blocks or the floor or you're gonna come into your flying pigeon. So you wanna hook that left foot to the upper right arm. So your left shin acts like a shelf for you. You're gonna bend the elbows, lean forwards as you tip the hips up. Just bring that right heel in towards your glute. Awesome, set that foot down if you're balancing. We're gonna take our right hand to the left knee. Come up to stand, bring that left leg in towards your chest, left arm up. Rotate the chest to the left, reach that left arm back. Right arm forwards, hold there. And then take a big step back, land in warrior two. How are we doing, you still with me? <laughs> Reverse it, right arm up and over. And then coming back into warrior two. Extend and side angle, so right forearm to the thigh, reach that left arm towards the front of the mat. So you can stay here, you can wrap that left arm behind the back in a half bind, or you can come into a full bind. And then bring yourself up warrior two. So you're gonna turn and face the left side of the mat, heels in, feet turn out. Bend the knees, lower the hips. Hands or elbows to the inside of the knees and just rock side to side. So keeping the hips low, take your arms to the inside of the legs, grab hold of the ankles, let the head just drop. 
Hands to the ground, hips up, bring your feet parallel, wide-legged forward fold. So you can stay where you are. You can change the hands. Maybe you like to play around with tripod headstand here, and that's in your practice. Either way, you have a few breaths. If you are inverting, you're going to lower down, bring your hands to the floor. We're all going to lengthen the spine as you take an inhale. And exhale, walk your hands towards the front of the mat, and we're going to make our way into our pigeon. So you're going to walk your right foot over to the left side and come down onto that outer right thigh. So if you do have those blocks, you can use them for support. You can place them underneath that right thigh. You can place one for the head and the forearms. You can have that back knee bent, or you can choose to straighten it and tuck that left knee under. You can also come on your back for figure four. Either way, you're just going to make your way into the shape that works for you. And as we find some stillness here, just close the eyes. Return back to your breath. Come onto your hands. Now you can either walk that end in downward dog or you can move through a flow. And then we'll come into this second side. So you're going to bring your big toes to touch. Take that left leg towards the ceiling. Bend that top knee. Rotate your hips towards the left. And then cross it underneath you. So take that left knee to the right arm. Shoulders forward. Leg out to the right side, back heel down, falling triangle, right arm up. So again, option, lift that left leg up. Set the right hand down, three-legged dog, left leg to the ceiling. Left knee to the left arm, shoulders forwards, and then step your foot down to the outside of the left hand. Come forwards and backwards into the hip. As you press your hands on the ground, find that dome in the upper back. Left knee high up on the arm. So leave the knee there, bring that heel in, hold here, hold a push up, or you're gonna lean forwards and float that back leg up. And then meeting in three-legged dog, left leg up. Come forwards, knee to nose. Step down in between the hands, back knee lowers to the floor, low lunge, both arms sweep up. Hands come together, lift the gaze. And then bring the hands down to the floor, half split, hips go back, flex that left foot. And then bend into the front leg, tuck your back toes under, pick up your back knee. Pull your feet in towards one another. Lengthen the spine, runner's lunge, arms reach back, draw the ribs in, hover your chest above that front thigh. Lean forwards more, float that right leg up, warrior three. Use your breath to steady yourself in your balance. And as you come up to stand, right knee in. Take that right hand below the knee, left arm up. Right foot on top of that left thigh. Bend the standing leg, lower the hips down and back. So either stay here, hands to the blocks, or hands to the floor. If you're coming into that arm balance, you're going to hook that foot to the upper left arm. Again, you're using your shin as a shelf. So you're going to bend the elbows, but you have to tip the hips up. So think of that core work we did on our back. And then bring that left heel in towards the glutes. Set the foot down if you're balancing. You're going to take your left hand to the right knee. Come up to stand, right knee to chest, right arm up. Rotate the chest to the right, reach our right arm back. Take your left arm forward, hold there. And then take a big step back, land in warrior two. Reverse it, left arm up. Coming back into warrior two. Extended side angle, so left form to the left thigh, reach that right arm towards the front of the mat. So you can stay here, you can have that half bind, wrap the right arm behind the back, or maybe you have that full bind. And bring yourself up, warrior two. Turn to the right side, heels in, feet turn out, bend the knees, lower the hips. 
Hands are elbows to the inside of the legs and just rock side to side. Keep the hips low. Take your arms to the inside of the legs. Grab hold of the ankles. Breathe into the hips. And hands to the floor, hips up, feet parallel, your wide-legged forward fold variation. Hmm. Coming onto the fingertips, lengthen the spine. Now walk your hands towards the front of the mat and make your way into your pigeons. You're going to walk your left foot over the right hand, come down onto the outer left thigh. So have that back knee bent, straight. Use whatever props you have when you're coming on your back to figure four. Whatever works best for you. Wherever you land, try not to get caught up in your external environment. I know if you're doing this from home, there's a lot that's around you that can distract you. But remember that this time is still for you. You carved this time out for yourself. So stay present. Come onto the hands, lift yourself up. So this time you're gonna swing both legs forwards and give your legs a good shake. And then bring your feet together, let your knees fall open and come into a wide diamond. So instead of the feet being in, I want you to bring your feet forward. Take your arms to the inside of the legs, your hands will just find the tops of the feet and just let yourself round as your head falls towards the feet. If this is not working, your knees are close towards your ears and you're really rounding, then just use a block or two and slide it underneath your pelvis to elevate the pelvis a bit. And take those arms out from underneath you, bring the legs together and come down onto your backs. Both knees in towards your chest, just rock side to side. Set the feet on the mat about hip distance apart. Ground the feet, lift the hips up towards the ceiling, coming into bridge. If it's there for you, you can walk your shoulder blades underneath you, interlace the hands and ground the arms. And then releasing the hands and then slowly roll down the breath. Take your arms out into a T-shape and let your knees rock side to side. When your knees fall over to the left, recline twist so the legs can stay in the shape that they fall in or you can bring your knees closer together. Shut down the eyes and let the head fall wherever is most comfortable for the mat. And bring your knees to the center. And take your knees over to the right, left arm out.
and bring yourself back to center. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And then let it go. So you're going to take the legs long, bring the arms down to the ground. You can make any adjustments you need to get as comfortable as you can here. And if being on your back isn't the most comfortable place for you, then find a place that is. That might be on your side, on your stomach, or in a seated position. Just take the time to be still. To witness what comes up for you during this time. Paying attention to your patterns, your habits. And then deciding, are these thoughts serving you? Or if they aren't, Create change by bringing awareness to it. And then instead of holding on to it, let it go. are here take as much time as you need here thank you so much for moving with me today i hope to see you again soon always be humble and be kind thank you